Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to restore an iPhone from a previous iCloud backup. Now, this is handy to do whenever you change phones or whenever you have uh, wiped your phone to send it in for service. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be using an iPhone 5S, but the steps are identical uh, regardless of the model of iPhone that you're using. Now, step one in this process is to go back to the first video that we did uh, last week, which is titled um, Backing Up an iPhone to iCloud, and this is the follow-up, Restoring from an iCloud Backup. So the first thing we want to do is turn on the phone. Now when you get your new phone, it's going to be at this screen. So you're going to press the button again to unlock it. You're going to choose your Wi-Fi network, uh, or you can do this on the cellular network, but Wi-Fi is a little faster. Uh, some of this stuff we're just going to skip, so we're going to set up Touch ID later. Uh, and now we get to this screen, and this says Restore from iCloud Backup. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to log in here with the Apple ID and the password, and it has to be the same Apple ID and password that you use to create the backup. So hang on just one sec while I put in my information. So once we've entered our Apple ID and password, we're going to hit Next. And now it's going to update the cloud settings. This will take a, a couple of minutes, so just be patient for this part. Okay, so now it gets to this part where it's asking you to choose which backup. Now, this is important because your backups are different depending on um, what day you did them. Uh, the latest one is usually the largest, but sometimes it's different. So just choose the backup that you want. In this case, we're going to choose the one that was done uh, on January 12th. So we select that. And then it's restoring. So just patiently wait, depending on the size of your backup. This can take anywhere from five minutes to half an hour. So uh, I'm going to pause the camera and we'll be back in a minute. Once the restore process has finished, it'll, your phone will restart and you'll see this screen. And again, just patiently wait a few minutes. Once the phone restarts, you'll find yourself back at the hello screen. And it'll say update completed and you just hit the continue. And you're back to the setup. So we're going to set up Touch ID later. Uh, continue with that. Uh, passcode options, these are your four options. Uh, in this case, uh, we're just going to choose don't add passcode and continue. Now it's updating the settings. And again, this will take just a moment. And then you'll get the welcome to iPhone screen. So you choose Get Started, and now you're back. One thing you might want to do when you're doing a backup is connect it to power. Uh, backups can take a long time, and they will run your battery down quite a bit. Now, just to give it a final check to see if things came across, we're going to go to the Contacts folder, and there's our contacts. And then we're going to go back to the uh, Photos. And there's our photos. So it looks like the, uh, the restore has completed successfully. So this is what you want to do to um, restore from iCloud into your new iPhone. Um, if you've liked this video, click on the like button. Also hit the subscribe button so you'll get the updates of all the videos that we post. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. And other than that, just uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Bye.